We're gonna name you Richie. Actually. Welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, we're trapping some raccoons, my dudes. All right, so long story short, we're out here. We're setting some coon traps and we're gonna try to catch us some raccoons, possums, literally whatever wants to go into this cage to eat a little bit of dog food. All right, so first thing first, whenever we're out here trying to set some coon traps, it helps if you have a place where you actually know there's actually some coons. So for me, deer season's pretty much just got over. So there's a lot of people out there with corn piles that have been decimated by raccoons. And most deer hunters that use corn don't like coons, so they tell me about it and I tell them I'll come take them out for them. Now to trap some coons, it's actually uh, pretty simple and there's a lot of ways you can do it. I like these because it's super simple and it's really easy. Once you got a good flat spot, or decently flat, you come in here and set this trap, and it's so easy, I can do it with one hand. Just like that, the trap is set, and so how this works is that here's the cage, it's like the structure. Whenever an animal walks back here, steps on this, it actually pulls that rod down, which, whenever I press down on this, pulls it out over there, and the cage falls down, it locks up, and the animal can't get out. Pretty simple, pretty basic, nothing too special. And so all I'm gonna do, because raccoons are not very picky at all, I just have some dog food here. You can use literally anything. Honey buns work really well, but for me, I have dogs, so I already have a bunch of dog food. I'm just gonna dump a decent amount right there. And then just for, uh, just for a little sampler, I'll maybe dump some out right here, and then maybe some out right there. And honestly, guys, it doesn't take much to please a coon. We're literally going to catch this raccoon probably overnight. The next day, boy and boy, Oz, just your boy KG back out here. It is the next day, trapping shack on wheels. Sorry, bro, kind of left you hanging yesterday because I absolutely did not set that other trap. But it is the next day, so we are going to come in here and check this other trap. And uh, newsflash, we caught something. Cause your boy KG is an absolute legend. I don't know about that last part, but it ain't too hard to catch a possum. And that's exactly what we got. Now, is it a raccoon? No. Was we looking for a raccoon? Eh, I don't really care. Old KG is extremely happy with old cheesehead possum. Heck yeah, buddy. A lot of people don't care for possums cause they kinda re don't really do anything. But anyways, fun fact about possums, I've actually been bit by one before. And that's whenever I found out possums are not a carrier of rabies because their internal body temperature is just too low. Rabies being kinda like a something or another, it has to be so warm inside the carrier's body for them to actually carry it. And possums, they're just so slow and nothing's going on between the ears that their body temperature just never gets warm enough. Fun fact though, we're just gonna take this possum, put it in the back of the Defender, and then I'm gonna bring that other cage strap back and literally set it back in its exact spot. This is a pretty dang good sized possum too. Like this ain't no slouch at all, brother. AG is happy about that, my man. Absolutely. I will literally take a possum any day of the week. Oops, sorry, bro. So, we'll grab the dog food. Grab this trap and we'll literally go swap them out just as if nothing ever happened. You know, back in my prime time, back in 2018, 2019, they used to call me the possum whisperer. See that mouth? I have had some first hand experience with those babies. Literally, first. <laughs> and uh, no cap fam, they ain't capping. So, yeah, just letting you know that. I think for this bad boy, literally gonna come back to the same spot. And I mean, honestly, there's no reason not to. It works once. Especially on the first night. Good chance it'll work again. And uh, yes, by the end of the day, I think we are gonna set some more traps. To truly maximize your trap line, you wanna have more than one trap running at a time. Preferably, I mean, the big trappers, they do it full time and stuff. They'll have like 50, 60, 100 traps at one time. But at that point, you know, I'm just a dude. I make YouTube videos. I like to have about eight to 10. That's a solid trap line for a dude like me. I ain't nothing special, but I definitely do have a trapping shack on wheels. Top speed, 17 miles an hour. Think about it. We can't check too many traps in a day. We only got 24 hours. By golly, it takes you 30 minutes to get from here to my house, and we're only like a mile away. But heck yeah, Big Jeremy the Possum. Big Jeremy, son. What are you looking at? You want to fight? That's what I thought. Back off. Anyways, guys, let's go set that other trap, because uh, I think I got some dog proofs. Let's go find somewhere to set some. I want to have a few more than one trap running at a time. All right, now let's do a little dog proof trapping. First step, pull out a dog proof. Real nice, real nice. Ah! Possum taken care of. Where, how did I take care of him? Don't worry about it. Anyways, let's go into the woods. We're gonna set that dog proof. Big trapping shack on wheels. Good luck, Trump. Get out of the way, Daryl. I'm coming through. Oh, heck yeah, buddy. Heck yeah. This thing's a stinking brute, dude. Like, I mean, it ain't got good tires at all, and it ain't got 
high power steering or a top speed more than 17, but he'll get gone if you put the pedal to the pedal, you know what I mean? Just like before, dog proof dog food. Ain't no problem right there, boys. I have a trail camera right there and an actual bobcat trap right there. I don't know, I wanna set this up somewhere where the trail camera can see it. That way I can get instantly notified if anything's checking it out. But also, crazy fun fact, this trap right here, there was raccoons all over it last night. But for some reason, the raccoons still chose not to go into the bobcat set. Which is actually a good thing, because I don't want to waste a bobcat set that took me 15 minutes to make on a raccoon. Instead, I'd rather set this, this dog proof that literally takes 32 seconds on a slow day. And I can catch a raccoon just like it's easy. So yeah, I'm actually, I think I'm actually going to set it right on that. There's a lot of vines down there, but I'm going to pull them up real quick. Give me a minute. Be seen a minute. All right, so I cleared it out pretty decent. You're currently propped up on the bait jug. So if this ain't the best angle, go watch Flair's channel or something. All right, so basically I just got this thing. It's like a cable. I just literally just wrap around the tree and kind of like tie it in. And I've never had a problem with that ever, except for whenever the coon climbed to the top of the tree. And I didn't actually figure that out until like a few days after. That was tragic. So once it's wrapped around the tree, it can't go anywhere. I'm just gonna set this trap pretty easy. And the way these work, if you don't know, I'll show you right here. Give me a minute. Is you can look at it right there. Basically, this holds all this together, but down in there is a little ring. The raccoon has to reach down there and grab the ring and pull up on it in order to set the trap off. That's why dogs cannot get caught, caught in it. It's called a dog proof. This only catches animals with opposable thumbs, which is raccoons, possums, and rarely a skunk or gray fox. But you kind of got to get lucky with a fingernail on a fox or skunk, but definitely raccoons and possums. It's super simple. You just need dog food or cat food, and you just fill it up. You do got to make sure there's some bait under the trigger, which you can see there we're doing all right with. And then just fill it up halfway. Sprinkle, boom, you're done. Like, this is literally probably going to catch a raccoon tonight. Choo! What's poppin', guys? We back out here on the trap line. I think this is day three of trapping. Literally day three. Dunn caught a possum, and I already got a picture over here that we got us a little bit of something else. Now, for this one, we're pulling out the catch pole. We're bringing in this cage. Now this set is right there where that we set that dog proof yesterday. Um, like I was saying, guys, you ain't gotta do nothing too special. I just put dog food in it, call it a day, and we have a raccoon right here right now. Oh, he's big. He's just having a good time over here right now. As I'm walking up, he's just like, who the heck are you guys? Whenever I say you guys, I'm pretty much just talking about me because I'm alone, Lone Ranger. All right, raccoon, what you been up to, brother? What you been up to, brother? Now, here's some. Oh, he's a pretty good little size raccoon. Ain't gonna lie about that, my boy. Let me tell you a secret with raccoons. You best keep your fingers out of their face because they will take them with them. Raccoons are one of the meanest animals in the woods, and I can verifiably fact that. Thank you. Buddy, get off of me. Raccoons. We're gonna name you Richie. Actually, Bro just ripped my phone off the tripod. I may have to get rid of this phone, guys. It, it might have rabies. Dude, I know that y'all can't see this, but brother just grabbed the phone with his mouth and he cracked the screen. Okay then, Richie. I see you. I see you out here doing work. Long story short, guys, we're gonna get Richie out of the trap. I'm actually gonna be putting him in this uh, cage so that I can transport him out of here. Now here in Kentucky, it's actually illegal to take one from one property and release it on another property, but it is completely legal to take one from one side of your property and release it on a different side of your property. But anywho, let's go ahead and strap this guy up. Let's get him rocked and rolling. All right, so let me show you how we do this. First thing, we're gonna be using this catch pole. I can tighten it shut and it locks. That's important. If it don't lock, you're gonna get eaten. Okay, so. Then for this cage trap, I need this cage trap to be open until I need the cage trap to not be open. So, I better watch my back. He comes over here and gets me. I'm in trouble. That right there should do it. And I'm gonna just set that cage trap right here. And it shouldn't be too hard to work my way around and put him in there. Sometimes raccoons can be really hard to work with. Sometimes they can be actually pretty easy. But it is all about just wrangling. If they figure out what... Stop. If they figure out what you're doing, that's whenever it gets hard. Now he's locked. I'm not choking him or anything. I'm just holding him really good. 
Now I gotta come in here, keep his head away from me, get his foot out of the trap. He's now locked on. This trap is shut. Get his head off. He has now been transported into the cage trap. That is what you call how it is made. I mean, how it's done, how it's made. It's a good TV show, not exactly what we're talking about. You know what I mean? And just like that, little brother is inside the cage and you can look at his foot. We caught him on that foot and uh, you can see the dirt spot. But besides that, he's already putting weight on it and uh, it's totally fine. It's not hurt at all. And uh, yeah, now Richie's doing fine. Basically, Richie is just coming with me and uh, I'll reset that trap and by golly, we're two for two. Let's go. All right, guys, we're back down here. We're at the same place we caught that first possum, but I want to set a dog proof down here. Now, for me, the way I set dog proofs, I actually have them set up a pretty cool way. Now, this is a dog proof, how it comes and everything. Then it comes down to the end of the chain right there. And what I've done is I actually attached this loop thing. I'll literally just wrap it around the tree, run the trap through the loop, and then tighten it down on the tree. And now the tree becomes the stake. And it's pretty good because pretty much anywhere there's possums, anywhere there's coons, there's probably gonna be small trees like this. And then from here, I'll just set it just like this. Get it as close to the trail as possible. If possible, right in the middle of the trail, stab it on down, grab the dog food, sprinkle it inside, and come on the outside. That's it. I mean, as long as there's coons, possums in the area, pretty good chance we're probably gonna catch them. And that right there, guys, is literally all it takes. And if I wanted to do it with a cage strap, all I'd have to do is set the cage strap, put a little of this out in the back and spread it a little thin line right out in front where it gets a little sample. And boom, it's over like that. I mean, trapping coons and possums, not very hard, but it is very rewarding and very exciting, which is great. But as for me, I'm gonna leave it, come back in 24 hours, see if we got a possum. Back on the trap line, the door is down. We caught something. Uh-oh, this guy's mean. I'm just kidding, it's just a possum. Possums are uh, pretty um, boring, if I have to say so myself. They kind of don't really do anything half the time. Every now and again, you'll get an aggressive possum, but uh, most of the time, they're kind of just gonna sit there and look at you and not really do much of anything. Like, I'm just petting him with this leaf and he ain't even gonna bite it. Possums aren't exactly the most exciting animal to catch, but you know, possum's a possum. You walk up, pick up the cage, do whatever you want to do with them, and then uh, bring it back and set it back down and put dog food in it. Trapping in a cage strap, extremely effective, but it's nothing really flashy. You kind of just have an animal in a cage. It's nothing really that special. But that's okay, because it's still a possum. Now for y'all that are wondering the exact fate for this possum, um, we're actually going to eat him. I don't think it's actually going to be in this video. It may not be in a video at all, but I'm pretty sure on the main channel pretty soon, I might just do a possum catch a cook, because possums actually taste pretty good if you cook them right. Don't worry, I'll make a video. Y'all see what I'm talking about. It's going to be pretty good. I can almost promise. On the trap line, day six. I don't know if you can tell, but my truck is icy. That means it's cold. What are you thinking, Steve? Couldn't have said it better myself. With that being said, it is very cold out here on the trapping shack on wheels. But since that one video where I flipped the Defender, I don't exactly have options because it still doesn't have a bed on it. Now, while I'm heading in here to check this trap, I do want to say check out KendallGraveWarnut.com slash shop or first link in the description if you want to check out some merch. I mean, we got this shirt right here, and it's pretty epic. But don't just take my word for it. Take this testimony from a random fan, which I've never met before in my life. And let's let him tell you how good it is. I got this hat on KendallGraveWarnut.com. It's my favorite. All right, guys, walking up on the trap, and I'm, I'm seeing something I kind of hope I didn't see. I don't like this, this ain't good. But last night my trail camera did indicate that we had something in this trap and we actually had a raccoon. But upon further investigation, I don't think the raccoon is here at all. So let's get down and investigate. 
Um, he was definitely here because I had video footage from the trail camera of him on it. One way or another, the dude got out. And I don't know how that worked at all. If we look up here, you can see he done some digging. I don't know how he squeezed out of there, but some way, somehow, the dude literally dug himself out and got out of this trap. I ain't about to even start and tell you how he did it because I don't know. One thing I do know is that, buddy, these little $30 traps you get at Tractor Supply, I mean... They're all right, but obviously not too great because I just got a raccoon that busted out of here. I tell you, dude, that ain't cool. We had a raccoon last night. I mean, I got the video of footage. We're sitting here looking at the footage. I had a raccoon. Then this dude somehow pulled a Fibonacci's number and escaped or something like that. It stinks. I mean, at this point, I don't really know what to do. The trap ain't no good. Let me just tell you this. It's far from over. We're going to catch this raccoon, okay? Got my dog food. He's a dog proof already over here. I don't think it would be the smartest idea to bring back a cage trap since he's already figured out how to get out of it and associates them with danger. So I think the dog proof, he gets caught in the dog proof, guys. He, he ain't coming back out. This is literally the same exact spot that we already caught that raccoon earlier in the video, but I've seen like three on trail camera at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and pull a few more. Literally like somehow this dog proof, it's already set. Something ate the dog food, didn't get caught. I don't know if the trap was froze or what, but uh, regardless, dog food, we'll pour it right down in there, like that. Scatter a few pellets, boom, we're done. I think we're gonna catch something, dude. I mean, even if it is 100% the same exact raccoon, I think we're still gonna get him because Guys, raccoons ain't gonna pass up free food, even if it is extremely sketchy to try to get. As for this trail camera, I got the SD card right here. I'm just pull it back, set the SD card in there, turn it back on, we're good to go. And honestly, guys, I wouldn't be surprised if we're back here with a raccoon on day six. On the trap line and we got something and it is the same exact raccoon that we caught yesterday but yesterday he escaped today he not escaping here he is he's kind of a easy there brother right now he's kind of uh kind of stuck in that in the tree so i'm gonna go ahead and get him out and uh yeah i can't be for certain this is the same exact one as yesterday but there's a pretty good chance because we are in the same area now today we are doing the whole catch pole thing and we have a lot better trap so that there's a lot less likely. He's actually gonna be able to get out of here. We'll go ahead and get ready. Now we're just gonna go straight in on him and try to get him out of this trap. Wonder if he knows what this is. He doesn't know what this is, it's perfect. Oh, he about got out right there. That's close. Gotta play smart with this guy. Come on, come on. Oh, it's on his face, it ain't got him though. Okay. Now I've got to use this to hold him down. I got to trust that. Use my boot. Got him. Now we're going to lift him up, put him in. Shut this gate. Put him out of there. Slide these locks. And we are good. This raccoon has been successfully captured and transferred over to the new cage. Yeah, here we go, boys. That's how you do it. Also, if you haven't noticed, it snowed last night, which is not good for me because all my traps that I worked so hard to reset, now they have snow on top of them. Makes them a lot less likely to actually go off. It's probably gonna melt here in like four hours, which is just gonna turn everything in the mud, which also isn't really that good. As for Richard, he's successfully been transferred. And as for us, we're done. We're out of here. Click right here if you wanna see a squirrel hunt with a suppressed 22 or right over here for what I did on the last snow day I had.